All right, folks. This is for the Women Warriors Wrestling F4L Icon Tag Team Championship. It is on the Tag Team Title Match Rules. As Daria and DJC, def the Squared Circle Cafe, defend against Snooki and JWoww, the Jersey Shore Girls. Because you are wondering, yes, there was a match between Snooki and Daria that would have allowed this match to take place. But due to the fact with just the lack of wanting people wanting to get in the ring with them. The champions decided, fine, might as well let these Jersey Shore girls get in the ring with them anyway. Spinebuster, excuse me, Spinebuster by Daria. And the women's tag team champions of Squared Circle Cafe have been tag team champions for quite some time. Snooky kick to the bread basket, drop kick to the patella. Last time these two were in a ring together, Daria Stevens destroyed Snooky. This time... It is Tag Team Warfare. This time, Wow joining Snooki and DJC joining Daria. Nice standing elbow to the chest of Snooki, the girl from Jersey Shore. And a right hand by Daria. Oh, watch out. Oh, wow. You know, my wife has been asking me to teach her the Black Rose, and she has, looks like that's exactly what she just locked in Snooki. From the Jersey Shore, <clears throat> I can assure you, <clears throat> excuse me, folks, I can assure you that is a very devastating hold when it is locked in. Of course, I have spent almost a lifetime perfecting the Black Rose. Daria is just learning it. And there's the tag to Jay Wow, Snooky's longtime Jersey Shore shopping buddy. That's Jay Wow now. Very interesting attire, I might say. Off the ropes now. Oof, coming across the back. Daria needs to make a tag. The champion knows all too well what she needs to do. She is a champion for a reason. There's a Pele kick there by Jay Wow. There's a great, great ring positioning there. Jay Wow dancing as DJC runs her over. And the Pride of Georgia getting ready to light up the princess of <laughs> Jersey Shore. I guess so. Oh, DJC with a knee to the face. Short clothesline <laughs> taking down Jay Wow. Oh, standing sidekick. Jay Wow still on her feet, sending DJC to the to the outside canvas. But rather than follow up, decides dancing is a better idea. And the champion, not going to like that too much, as now DJC is in a bad area, and she knows that all too well. That is the experience factor by DJC. Now, oh, that's a bad idea. Snooky taking a cheap shot. And that might have been exactly what the Jersey Shore girls had in mind. This is a title match rules, folks. So, pinfall submissions, knockouts, and we're in the building. Snooky... Doing some underhand tactics with a spine buster, and now Jay Wow with a cheap roll up. Of course, whenever you go to the opposite side where there is another team, that is also putting yourself in harm's way, so to speak. As Jay Wow goes back into the ring, giving the champion time to recover. Apparently, she has not watched any DJC's matches. What a takedown there into a cover! And thanks for coming. That was a rookie mistake by the rookie girls from Jersey Shore. Goes to show you that sometimes the knowledge and the experience will always outweigh the rookies. We see some of this action here. Gotta say, the drop kick to the patella was almost a smart idea. Unfortunately, look at this cheap shot here. I think that irritated the Georgian Peach DJC. You don't come from Bad Street, USA, Georgia for nothing, folks. You learn to survive. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, as the tag team champions get down in their curtain call of 2020. They'll be back for the 2022 all-new looks, all-new attires, still rocking and rolling, and still 
your Women Warriors of Wrestling F4L Tag Team Champions as they try to do, as they dance, as I showed my wife that dance move the other day, actually. And Dari letting those Latin hips go to work. All right, folks, stick around. Yeah. 